Hi, my name is Rishabh Rajan and in this video series, I'm going to talk about the new wireless audio cubes. Audio cubes are sensor-based controllers with built-in RGB LED lighting for visual feedback. Audio cubes are capable of sensing each other as well as other objects nearby, like for example your hands. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how I would use just one audio cube as a MIDI controller in Ableton Live. Okay, so let's hook up the controller to a computer with a USB cable. Load up the companion software MIDI Bridge. In MIDI Bridge, I'll set the mode selector to sensor. Now all the four faces act as sensors and when I move my hand close, you will see activity in the oscillograph. The numbers here show the MIDI CC values that each face is generating. Sometimes it doesn't quite move throughout the full range. So just move your hands away from the cube and click on calibrate. Try that again. That's much better. Now we're getting the full range. Same for all the four faces. Okay, now how do we send this MIDI data out to Ableton Live? Over here in Cube MIDI Output, you can set the destination. I have one IAC bus available, which is a virtual patch through to send MIDI from one application to another. It's quite easy to create. In Utilities, open your Audio MIDI Setup, go to the MIDI window, double click on IAC Driver, and here you can see the one IAC bus I have created. I could create more, but I just need one, so I'll leave it as is. Okay, so that's how to create the IAC bus. Now in Ableton Live, go to Preferences. In the MIDI Sync tab, under MIDI Ports, you should see the IAC driver. Turn on Track and Remote for the input, and Ableton will now receive MIDI from the IAC bus. This session has a synth part. I'd like to control this filter cutoff with the audio cue. I think that should sound interesting. I'm going to use this left side of the cube. As you can see over here, it is sending MIDI CC number 10. To send this data out, all I have to do is click here. Okay, now in Ableton Live, let's MIDI map the filter cutoff dial. I'll delete my previous mapping here. Click on the parameter. I'll move my hand in front of the cube and it's mapped. I'll also reduce the minimum value here. Okay, great. Let's test it out. Excellent. It works. Okay, let's hear this with the beat. What else can we map? I have the simple delay on the synth. I think the dry wet control will be a good one to control with the cube. I'll use this rear side, which is phase one. It's sending MIDI CC 11. I'll turn on the sending and also solo it. Will be easier to map the control. Turn on MIDI mapping in Ableton. You'll notice as soon as I click the parameter, it gets mapped. That's because the MIDI CC is continuously being transmitted, even though my hand was not nearby. So that's why it was a good idea to solo the face. Okay, let's unsolo the face and try it out. Seems to be working well. Let's try both.
Nice. Let's do one more mapping. I have this overdrive effect on the synth. I think the drive control will be a good parameter to map. I'll use phase 3 for this. Turn on the MIDI CC send. And also solo it. Back in Ableton, switch on MIDI mapping. And just click on the parameter. I think I'll also limit the maximum. Don't want the synth to sound too distorted. Okay, let's try it out. Get out of MIDI map mode. Looks like it's responding. Let's unsolo the face so we can control all three parameters at the same time. <laughs> 